Hi, this is Ian Harrison for Crimson Trace, and today we're going to go through the installation of the MVF515 modular vertical foregrip. The MVF515 is available in both red and green variants, and installation for both is exactly the same. First thing I'm going to do is make sure that I've got all the components of the system that came in the pack. So, MVF515 unit, main unit itself, I've got uh, an accessory kit, I've got instruction manual, I've got a pair of Allen wrenches, and I've got two lithium batteries. Okay, we've got everything that the kit should come with, so let's go and install the batteries. First thing you're going to do is depress a little detent in the middle of the butt cap and slide the butt cap off. Once that's off, you're going to remove one of the panels. I prefer taking off the laser panel. and I'm just going to separate the two halves, take that apart, and you'll see you have a battery comp compartment in the center there. Taking the two lithium batteries, I'm going to install them so that uh, the negative end is down, and then I'm going to separate them so that they come together in a little ridge in the middle of the battery compartment. And then I'm just going to press them down into place and secure them. Don't try and install them flat on this because it's very, very difficult to get them in because it's a tight fit. Once the batteries are installed, I'm then going to take the laser component that I took off, install it back on the tang, and squeeze the two halves together. It's deliberately a tight fit, so you're going to have to squeeze quite hard. And then I'm going to take the butt cap that I just took off, slide it back in place until the little detent pops out and it's secure. Okay, so we're now going to check that that functions, point it in a safe direction and activate the laser. The bottom paddle activates the laser, top paddle activates the light. Both of those seem to work okay, so I'm just going to back the two screws off for the Picatinny rail attachment point and I'm going to roll the Picatinny rail attachment point onto the pick rail of this AR-15. Before doing anything though, I'm just going to clear the weapon out, point in a safe direction, verify there's nothing in the chamber, work the action, and then drop the hammer. I'm going to roll the gun over, select an appropriate distance from the magwell to attach the VFG, and then rock it into place. And then I'm going to finger tighten both of these nuts so that the vertical foregrip, the MVF515, is secure. From that point on, I then just take a screwdriver or a coin and tighten them up so they're nice and snug, and uh, I'm ready to go to the range. <laughs> 